Uh, these are the parts for my uh, build, upcoming build. Thought I'd go through them real quick. I took them out of the box. Everybody's seen a new egg box opened up and stuff taken out of the eggs. So for this build, I'll be using a Core 2 Quad Q8400. There's that. G Skill uh, DDR3. 1333 memory. That's what that looks like. There's my windows. Here's a cable I had to get because the guy's got an IDE, a $10,000 IDE printer that I've got to get working. I hope this uh, IDE to USB uh, cable will be sufficient. I hope I can find drivers for Windows 7. Uh, here's what OEM optical drives and hard drives come looking like. So I'm not even going to mess with those. I'm just going to keep them in their protective covering for now. And then this motherboard. Haven't opened the motherboard uh, box yet. Um, but at the time of this video, DDR3 memory is about as expensive as DDR2 memory. And from what I've read, it's because the uh, Koreans have flooded, or uh, not flooded the market, but they've uh, stopped selling to the DDR2 memory to the spot market which has driven up DDR2 prices as you might have noticed in the last few months and I think that's the reason why I've, I've got a family member that works in the business and uh, yeah the Koreans have stopped selling DDR2 to the spot market and that's why we're paying so much for it so on this build, I figured why not use DDR3, but I wanted to use a Core 2 Quad, so I found this motherboard. It uses a Core 2 Quad and a DDR3 memory. So it comes with a owner's manual, driver disk, back panel, just a basic basic panel. Uh, IDE, IDE cables. No floppy I don't think here. All I can see so far. Looks like we got two, two SATA cables. One with a 90 degree and one with both straight edges. And then the board. I've never bought an ASUS board before, so this is a first for me, and I've also never worked with uh, Micro ATX. There's the size of my hand, and I have good size hands, but obviously these are not big boards at all, but it should be pretty fun. Unfortunately, this motherboard has only got the two DIMM slots. I uh, wish it. I uh, wish I'd got one that had four, but this should be fine. It's for an office. It's got a PCI uh, X16 slot and two two regular PCIs and an X1. So, and there's the back panel, DVI VGA. Six USBs, uh, HDMI. So anyway, it looks like a pretty nice little board. So I'll have uh, more on this uh, as time goes on. I get the rest of my components in. So, and then I'll uh, try to do an overview of the build.